Well, all right, all right. Hey everyone, Transmute here, aka Beer Brony, aka Night Drinker, and tonight we're going to be talking about the animation Knuckles vs. Africa, done by the very talented Animated James. For those of you who don't know who this guy is, he's a pretty cool animator who's worked on a bunch of stuff. Most notably, he made the popular and awesome Vita PMV, which of course was performed by the very talented duo of Black Griffin and Michelle Kreber. The Beat It PMV was very impressively done, and it actually got me motivated to start becoming a more productive brony. Mainly because when I watched it, I was all like, Hey! Where's my OC? And... Then I realized that I didn't have an OC. And then I... And then I hadn't done anything to even merit being on there. If it wasn't for the Beat It PMV, I wouldn't have started on the Beer Brony vlog, nor would I be reviewing his work right now. So... Before I begin, I just want to say thanks to James for lighting a fire under my butt and getting me going. However, even though I could speak volumes on the Beat It PMV, this isn't what this review is about. Tonight we're going to be talking about some of his recent work. Knuckles vs. Applejack is yet another chapter in Animated James' series of Sonic vs. MLP animations. So far, there's been Tails vs. Twilight, Sonic vs. Rainbow Dash, and Amy Rose vs. Pinkie Pie. I mean, that's at least all I know of. Now, before I was a brony, I was a diehard Sonic fan. I wasn't into all the newer animations, but I love Sonic Sat AM, and the comics had been my bread and butter ever since I was a child. Seriously though, I was once so much into the Sonic comics that I drove after working a crazy shift on Zero Sleep and got into a really bad car accident because I was so tired. That's how much into the comics I was. Yeah, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm as loyal as they come. Knuckles vs. Applejack, for me at least, sparked my interest immensely. Mainly because Knuckles is one of my favorite Sonic characters, and Applejack is best pony. Deal with it. James does an outstanding job animating ponies. I really love his style of artwork that he gives them. On the other hand, I feel as though the Sonic characters weren't drawn as well as the MLP ones. Now perhaps that's because James had a little bit more trouble animating them or because they're two different styles, but overall it wasn't terrible by any means. It didn't really pull me out of it, so no harm, no foul, and uh, it was just something I noticed. The voice acting was pretty top notch on this. Uh, um, Nux, uh... That's a quite nice shade of pink you got there. I don't know who did the voice for Applejack, but let me tell you, that's as spot on as you're gonna get, folks. But it wasn't just Applejack. All the characters who had lines in this did an outstanding job. A lot of the jokes were also pretty funny. My only real criticism on the jokes was the Prince of Bel-Air bit. And don't get me wrong, I love a Prince of Bel-Air reference as much as anyone else. But if you're going to do it, at least try to make the background music a little bit more fitting of the original song. It could have been that James was worried about copyright infringement, which if that's the case, I totally get it. Believe me, I know how that goes. As a word of advice, perhaps instead of using a rock beat, maybe a hip-hop one would have fit better. But I digress. Overall, the animation was really great, and I've watched it several times since it's come out. You can really tell that James puts in a lot of effort into his animations, and really cares about what he does. It just really- It rock! Wait, wait. Did, did, did Knuckles just- Ray Rice Applejack? I'm not sure if James put this in as a joke to the Ray Rice thing, or if it was a weird coincidence, but I took it as a joke on the matter. I mean, not that I find punching females funny by any means. Oh boy. If you haven't watched the video, be sure to check it out, and also check out some of his other works as well. Personally, I like his con fame skit that he did. It was pretty clever and fun. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to go and follow Animated James and check out his videos. If you like this video, be sure to like it and share it with friends. Also, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter for jokes and updates. Well, until next time.